Hi, my name is Kareen Perry, and for the third and final article review, a presentation showing the gradual incline of information overload, our data glut will be discussed, referencing Angela Edmonds and Ann Morris's article, The Problem of Information Overload in Business Organizations, a review of the literature, follows the discussion of possible solutions to resolve this concern. Essentially, you have this problem with information being requested by managers and individuals at a rapid rate to keep up with the currency and not get left behind by colleagues. Unfortunately, a resulting overflow of too much information, analysis paralysis, naive possible information fatigue from staring at a computer screen for too long, are some of the results of this problem. There is just not enough information of the right quality being collected and distributed. Before presenting the provided viable options to resolve this information overload concern, a study review of the history of this progression will be reviewed. In the 1850s, about 4% of workers actually handled information for a living. Many of these information professionals were librarians, or the gatekeepers of information. Information was scarce around this time, and people really had to work a little harder to obtain what they needed. Leading to the 1880s and latter part of the 19th century, there began to be this rise in too much information and too many sources, as well as a rise in case law. For example, in 1810, there were 18 volumes of a case report. In 1885, there were on average about 3,800 volumes of this same case report. How did you decide which one to use? Heading into 1950, we began to really experience this overload of sensations, largely associated with the urban world. This information overload problem was viewed as a disease of cities at that time. Finally, between 1950 and present day information age, studies show that information processing now accounts for more than half of the U.S. gross national product. Hence, this steady incline has led to this need to not only retrieve information that is now in abundance and plenitude, but a need to locate the valuable information associated with truth, guidance, scarcity, accessibility, and weight. Peer reviewed materials could perhaps be what we're looking for. Solutions to this information overload problem include identifying, one, reduction in the duplication information found in professional literature, two, the adoption of a personal information management strategy, or PIM, three, integration of software solutions, such as push technology and intelligence agents, four, value added information, and five, an increase in information literacy competency skills. Information specialists are now the librarians of yesterday with skills to navigate the wide open web. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thank you.